What does Ninja's new haircut, animal abuse, and PewDiePie hitting 100 million subscribers have in common? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. But all that and more when we return. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new above ground pool filled with rare Pokemon cards. My name is Leon Lush. I'm joined here by my wife and my baby mama, and we're all just so appreciative that you join us for a few minutes here today. So we're happy to have you here for the 13th installment of Lush Recap, where we talk about some of the big stories that happened this previous month. And you may be asking yourself, well, I don't remember the first 12 episodes, and that's because we uploaded those to MySpace. And come to find out, not a lot of traffic over there these days, so we're moving it on to YouTube. So my wife is pretty up to speed with all the stuff that's been going on, but I thought I'd bring on uh, baby mama, because she lives in a different world. Hold and, up, uh, hold up, hold up. What? Where am I right now? This is the. It's the Am I on the main channel? Oh, snap. This is, this is on the main channel, isn't it? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Some of you may be familiar uh, with my second channel, Lush Life, where Mrs. Lush is a bit of a staple over there. Um, I thought it would be fun to bring her in for the recap on the main channel just to, uh, to give her a little taste. Give her a little taste of what it's like for the big time. <laughs> so August was quite a month, don't you agree? I agree entirely. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, in your world, it was mostly like new one-year-old outfits and like what's memes. going on with the Kardashians or something. Yeah. You, you just learned what a meme was like a month ago. But Ninja, August 1st to start the month off, huge story. Ninja moved from Twitch to Mixer. If I had to tell you to point out Ninja in a crowd, would you even be able to identify what he looks like? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he Oh, I know what, what he does. Do you know what he is? He's a YouTube video star. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Or like just... I meant video game star. He's more of a streamer, like YouTube's okay. a secondary, but he was probably the most popular Twitch streamer. Uh, I would say, I was, you know, when it comes down to the numbers, definitely he was like at the top and has gone up and down. But when it comes to like his brand and his influence as an esports athlete, he's definitely at the top of the game. Got it. As of today, I will be streaming exclusively on Mixer. Yes. Where do you most? These are all ninjas. I get it. Did you get that? We're talking retire your grandkids, grandkids kind of money just to make the move. So people are saying low end, 10 million a year for like a couple years, possibly upwards of like a hundred million, if we're being if we're being maybe more realistic for a contract just to move platforms. Say that again. Hundred million dollars, speculatively, for a video game player just to move streaming platforms. If you told me back when I was in high school, committing my life to playing Halo 1 on the Xbox with all my friends in like the year 2001, that 18 years from then, someone would be getting paid tens of millions of dollars just to stream on a different platform. I'll tell you what, man, that is... You were meant for that life. You know what, I was meant for that life, but I was born in the wrong gen... <laughs> Born in the wrong generation. <laughs> the best part is though, once he went to Mixer, Twitch, they took his channel that he built, 18 million followers on Twitch and started promoting other Twitch streamers on his channel. And then, and then I don't know what happened, but a stream on Twitch became the number one stream and was being promoted on Ninja's channel. Not only did it go on for hours, but it was promoted as the number one spot on Ninja's page. So Ninja's page with 18 million followers, this video game esports player that had built his brand catered towards kids had a poofy stream being promoted to his audience on Twitch for multiple hours. They didn't take it down. Just an absolute egregious play. Total L for Twitch. Yikes. Stop that. So speaking of Ninja, this is more recent. He got uh, a new do, went to purple. He's always changing his hair color. Crazy, he's just Ninja. He can do whatever he wants, right? What's When you see this, what's the first thing you think of as far as like n new do, who dis? What's like, what kind of hairstyle is that? You know, you're not into, all right. Well, I responded to this one. I was, I, mean, I don't know how I don't have a million followers on Twitter because this was, I thought it was hilarious, but this was my response to that. Read my tweet. Barber, yo, what you want? Ninja, I want to win a Women's World Cup. Barber, say no more. Did <laughs> you get it? Yeah. I guess, you know, I would think it more along the lines of it looks like you worked at Spencer's Gifts or something like that. <laughs> that shit is fire, though. Oh, I'm just glad you got it. I thought you were going to read that and be like, I don't, I don't I understand. I get it. All right. 
And I think it looks nice. All right, taking a hard left turn to the darker side of YouTube, a YouTuber by the name of Brooke Howe this month of August uploaded a video, uh, looks like accidentally, that put her in a little bit of a situation that may be tough to come back from. What do you think it was? Something that you just can't come back from? Something that is a fast track to exterminating any chance you have in an online career? I mean, it has to be, it has to be some kind of hate crime. Well, I mean, some would call it that. Animal abuse, you got it. That's not what I was thinking, but okay. <laughs> so in my experience online, animal lovers are a group not to be trifled with. Animals are cute, they're lovable, they're great companions, um, and they deserve to be treated well, I get that. Uh, and the quickest way you can possibly destroy your own online career is by uploading a video of you abusing your animal, <laughs> which is exactly what Brooke Howe did. And I'm not laughing at the animal abuse, I'm laughing at how Stupid you have to be to actually upload a video without editing out the parts where you're abusing your animal. This is a puppy, by the way. It's a big dog. Smacks it. Here she goes, trying to film a little clip. Jeez. <laughs> have you ever seen someone spit on an animal's face? No. What kind of psychopath, dude? I remember when I initially watched this and I was like watching, I was like, all right, this girl's tapped. And then when I saw her like spit in its face, I was like, oh, she's maybe a sociopath. 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 This is the kind of thing that's like indefensible. I mean, cancel culture sometimes. This is a situation where it's like, all right, this, this woman probably needs to be, this girl probably needs to be put in check. Yeah. And uh, whatever she gets coming to her is, is, is well deserved. But I think it's safe to say her YouTube channel is not gonna be thriving for quite some time. <laughs> Well, that was depressing. Can you give me a little good news from August? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I would love to. In a tweet that happened on the 15th of August, Team YouTube says, a policy preventing copyright owners from making money on manual claims for short song clips, example, five seconds of a song, or unintentional audio, example, from passing cars. Claimants can still block monetization on the video itself, but timestamps help you edit out the claim. You know I'm a big fan of the slow clap, but what the hell are you doing? <clears throat> Let's break this down a little bit. Please. I know you get copyright claimed for every little thing with every little song. You, anytime there's a song, you go, ah, wait, can't do it. Yes, yes, exactly right. How many times have you come home from work and I've been <sighs> curled, up, curled up in the fetal position on the floor in a pile of my own tears and defeat, and you've had to console me for the entire length of the evening just because a one and a half second clip from a Logic song got claimed by UMG and I lost all the revenue from a 15 minute video that took me four days to create. I wish this happened about nine months ago because I've spent probably 300 hours having to manually remove one to two second clips from almost my entire back catalog of videos just oh. to keep it monetized. <laughs> oh, good Merry stuff. Christmas. But at least they're showing, they're taking steps in the right direction. They're showing that they listen once in a while to the creators and it felt good that it was it was like a mini win for the creators instead of the, these music labels just constantly stomping on our throats at every turn of the corner. Calm down. It's okay. Sorry, I get a little amped up. I apologize. I'm here for you. It's been a long year. <clears throat> By the way, it just so happens that a month prior, do you remember that song that I made when yeah. I went into the city and had the video recorded? Do you even know what the song was about? Yeah, the copyright claim. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Claim so, this, claim that. Yeah. So, <laughs> don't ever, God, please, don't ever record me singing. Josh, roll a clip, roll a clip, roll a clip. <laughs> They claim this, they claim that, well they don't give a single fuck about context, believe that. So I replied to YouTube's tweet, I said, this makes me swell with joy, and then Tommy Reeves said, your song worked. And you know what, Tommy? I couldn't agree more, it so for did, everyone watching this, Tommy. you're welcome. I went out of my way to make a music video about YouTube copyright abuse, and they listened. Obviously, I know it had nothing to do with that, but it's just, it was interesting, it was fun timing. I'm just gonna say, it can probably get a lot better than that role, but it's a start. Okay, maybe you should be writing some, maybe you should be making new TOS adjustments at Team YouTube. Right. I'll find you an application. <laughs> I already have enough jobs. Yeah, it's true. Being a nag is probably your full-time one, I would imagine. <laughs> that being said, go grab me a beer. 
Oh my god, you're actually gonna do it? I was kidding. <laughs> I was just being purposely like, yeah, sure, thanks. This one. Why, well, thank you, dear. Can I get a cheers up close to the mic so Josh can edit it? Oh shit. Try That's it again. terrible. I know, you, <laughs> you went like this, you tried to cheers like this. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Knuckle cheers, take that back. Thank you, dear, can I get a cheers, please? So in some more lighthearted news, they were doing some casting calls in August for the Fear Farm, which is, I guess, like during the Halloween season, it's one of these places, it's like a big, scary place where they hire all these actors to be zombies and monsters and stuff like that, and Fox News did a report on it, thank God. Can I hear a monster sound from one of you guys, what you were doing early? Sure. <laughs> Acting and scaring a haunted house is definitely one of the most rewarding jobs I've ever had. Um, really? Oh boy. <laughs> he must have had some pretty terrible jobs <laughs> if that's the case. Although I will say most jobs are terrible. I can't really even get mad at him for that statement. There's other zombies here. There's monsters. There's werewolves. So they're all trying to figure out exactly what they want to be during Fear Far. Now the training... <laughs> that looks wow. like you! Okay, I'm getting well, excuse a little freaked out and they're not even in full hair and makeup. It's unbelievable. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How pissed do you think she is that this is the story she got tasked with? I actually think she's thrilled about it because she's on TV. <laughs> she has to be like an intern or something. <laughs> she got the gig, good for her. Although if I'm being honest, this is probably the best coverage from Fox News I've seen in two and a half years. <laughs> so James Charles recently tweeted this. Ah, oh, we hit 16 million sisters. Again. Again. I'm so grateful every single one of you and beyond blessed to be alive and do this oh. job. Thank you for supporting me. So a couple months ago, James, you all know the drama with him. He lost, he set records, YouTube records. He lost over a million subscribers in 24 hours. That's insanity. That's, and, and then over the course of a few days, lost almost 3 million subscribers total. Made his way back, he hit 16 million again, blah, blah, blah. The only reason I'm showing this tweet, it's kind of unremarkable, but it's kind of paving the way for this next tweet from Team YouTube. Of course, Team YouTube does something good with the copyright thing, and then they do something bad. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. I can't wait to see what you're gonna show me. So YouTube hinted at this in May, but they're now starting to roll it out. And they tweeted this recently. It says, abbreviated public subscriber counts are gradually rolling out starting next week. We heard a lot of feedback from the community following our announcement in May. We've updated our original post with more info. So basically YouTube released this whole song and dance about how they're abbreviating subscriber counts to be consistent across platforms. So they're making this excuse where they wanna make it consistent and they're just gonna abbreviate all the sub counts. But what they're doing on the back end, okay, is they're taking away the public access, the API, to live subscriber counts. This abbreviation of the sub count to make it consistent across all YouTube platforms is how they pitched it, but really they're just nerfing Social Blade to try and help stop this glorification of the real-time sub count, and I, for one, think it's stupid. I know it's not the end of the world, right? They're not, like, YouTube's not broken, but for me, I remember specifically last December, and you were there watching that, Live sub count is across a million. We were live streaming and there's like, it's it's a it's a big deal, man. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Like that was a huge moment in my life, obviously your life. And uh, it just sucks that they're doing away with it because people are scared of uh, whatever cancel culture even is. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that's my, that's, I would never do that to a dog, but I will do that to this idea of nerfing Social Blade. Fuck out of here. And finally, the story that dwarfs all of the other stories, this was the biggest month of PewDiePie's life, and I am living for it. What happened? If I, without reading this, can you tell me anything that happened to PewDiePie this month? Oh, you already know, I mentioned PewDiePie it PewDiePie got married. I hey, know that. Hey, you, that would be the one thing you know, and he... Got married. Passed how many? He guy? had a baby? <laughs> <laughs> Huge month for PewDiePie. I love to see it. I consider PewDiePie like the people's YouTuber. If you think about The Rock back there in 90s WWE, how he was the people's champion, PewDiePie is the YouTuber for the people. You remember the whole T-Series versus PewDiePie thing? He's just, he represents the dream of what it means to be a YouTuber, playing video games, doing what he loves, and just building this massive brand that has turned into something just so insane. Uh, it's great to see. In this month alone, Dr. Phil hosted Meme Review. Huge win. But more importantly, PewDiePie got married to the love of his life, Marzia, who all of you probably know that are PewDiePie fans. And then less than a week later, passed 100 million subscribers. And for me, that's the first actual YouTuber to hit that milestone. T-Series absolutely does not count because it's just this 
music conglomerate in India spamming 600 music videos a day. He also beat the Ender Dragon in Minecraft. I can't leave that out because I don't want to get eviscerated in the comments by Minecraft fans. So to say that August was the best month of PewDiePie's life, I think would be a bit of an understatement. So Leon, I yes. am definitely afraid to admit this, but I've actually never seen a PewDiePie video. So you want to just show me one real quick? <laughs> God. I couldn't even tell you what he looks like. I could walk right, like, like you said with Ninja, I could walk right by him right now. He could be in my face, alone in a room, and I wouldn't know who he was. Hold up, hold up. All right, this is PewDiePie. I just thought you were trying to say that it wasn't PewDiePie. I'm not that dumb. <laughs> oh, this is him. That's not him. <laughs> He was in the circle challenge, wasn't he? PewDiePie? Oh, he no. was. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Tifu, Tifu was there briefly. He was. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, he was. <laughs> you wish PewDiePie was in the circle challenge. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't. I would have never left the circle. I'd still be there if he was in the circle challenge. <laughs> oh my gosh! Three hundred twenty-six days later. <laughs> <laughs> Leon Lush and PewDiePie still going strong. All right, no, I have a video because I did want to show you a quick clip of his wedding video. Oh. He uploaded a wedding video, which I thought it was great. For someone as, as prolific as PewDiePie in the spotlight as much as he is to actually make a video of his wedding and upload it for his fans, I thought oh, that I was. Thought was I thought that was fantastic. Matsya has taught me to always go for what you want without any hesitation, and that has opened my life to so many new experiences. <sighs> okay. Oh, boy. I don't know if that hits you like it hits me, but boy, from little gamer boy to grown, <laughs> grown man, it's just, <sighs> oh, it hits me deep. Okay. Proud of my boy. <sighs> So it's a beautiful video. Marzia is beautiful, obviously. Yeah. PewDiePie's a legend. In typical wedding video fashion, they start ramping it up at the end. Am I gonna get copyright claim for this? Oh, yeah. I don't know, mate. Do you think, do you think PewDiePie, see now I wonder because I wonder if PewDiePie selected this song for his video knowing that he would upload it. He can't possibly care if his wedding video got copyright struck or not. He does. He has too much money. No to, way. He has too much money to care about that. Imagine if his wedding, if his videographer from his wedding, sent him the video, and it was perfect. And PewDiePie was like, "Yeah, actually, that song. If you could just replace that song with yeah, something well. royalty free, that would be fantastic." <laughs> so I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. Change it to a different song every five seconds. <laughs> yeah. Can you just can you just use sadviolin.mp3 from the YouTube library instead? So the wedding video was beautiful. He hit 100 million subscribers a few days later. Uh, huge grats to, to PewDiePie, the legend. Uh, and you said you'd never seen a video from him, so this is more in line with how he makes content. He uploaded this a few days ago. Best week ever, married, check. Beat Ender Dragon, check. 100 million subs, check. 100 million! <laughs> Ender Dragon. <laughs> Marriage. <laughs> 100 million. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but most important of it all, the one thing that truly matters. Two million at the PewDiePie submission subreddit. Let's get it, gamers. <laughs> no, but I will say, through all the controversies, obviously when you're at the top of YouTube, you're gonna get put through the ringer. He's made some mistakes, as everyone does, because we're all human. He's done some things that were less than savory. But at the end of the day, I personally think that PewDiePie uh, is a legit, real dude and is a good representation of what it means to be a authentic, down-to-earth YouTuber with a great work ethic uh, and a decent heart. And that was beautiful. Wow, that just got, hit me with a slow clap. <clears throat> so that is it for the August Lush recap. Wow, what a trip. What a great time. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's Leon here with my wife and my baby mama. If you want to see more of the baby mama, you can check out the second channel <laughs> if you want. Uh, Road to 100K. <laughs> yeah, boy. Thanks so much for watching. If you could do us a favor, if you're new here and you subscribe, that would mean the world to her. I'm whatever about it. No, just kidding. It makes me feel happy as well. And if you could, one last favor before you go, just go ahead and hip thrust that. Motherfucking Mom. like button. Booyah! <laughs> <laughs> you, you.